What's up everybody, John from Old Reading Farm here. Thanks for joining us. In today's video, we are gonna answer the question, can you use an alpaca as a livestock guardian animal? And in Old Reading Farm's shortest video in history, no, you cannot. Thank you very much. Good night, see you everybody. <laughs> Just kidding, but no, seriously. No, you should not use an alpaca as your livestock guardian animal. Let's run through the reasons why. So usually I would film something like this up by the girls because there's more of them and they're generally friendlier, but it's too windy up there. So I'm down here with the boys. So number one, and the main reason why you shouldn't use an alpaca for a, guardian, a livestock guardian animal is because alpacas are herd animals. Newsflash, llamas are also herd animals but they need animals of their own kind in order to really survive. Because the way it works when you're a prey animal, when you're a herd animal like alpacas, you take turns standing guard. So, you know, we have all these alpacas here. And they keep trying to get out of my camera. So, let's see, we got Felix, we got Carl on the far end, Waffle, Winston, Kevin, and Glacier. So we have, what's that, six? We have six boys down here. And now they are, they are pretty safe. We got them fenced in. They like the comfort of a fence, so that's always good. But so the way that it works is, one of them can stand guard while the rest of them sleep. And so while alpacas are good at, you know, alarming, so you'll hear, and we actually recorded a clip of this a couple weeks ago, so maybe Catherine can insert it after this. <laughs> alpacas do have a warning call. And so when you hear that, that is an alpaca saying to the herd, hey, get up, something's going on. Because what happens is, when you have a herd of alpacas like this, if there's trouble, they all get together and then they can run around. We've seen it happen before, they run around in circles or they all gather together. It's, it's even, it's so cute, the ladies, when there's a baby in there, they all surround the baby. The care instincts for the, the, the babies are there, which is really cute. So everybody just ran over there. Macy, who we were just talking about, just sounded the alarm. Um, our barn cat is in the... <laughs> that, so that's the alarm call. Um, they, they barely ever do it. And Macy knows our barn cat river, so I'm surprised that she's alarming over her. Um, but what they're doing right now is they're all circling Felix, the baby. Um, so that's, you know, as herd animals, that's what they do. They'll all get together and put their backs towards Felix. So everybody has eyes out and they're protecting Felix in the middle. So it's sort of sweet, even though it's totally unnecessary. <laughs> False alarm, but it's nice to know that it works. I know. Hey, river. What? You know, alpacas, like I said, and just like llamas too, they're herd animals, they need to be in a herd. That's why people often get llamas to be guard animals for alpacas, because you can just get a llama and put them in with alpacas because the care is close enough, the uh, nutrients that they need is close enough, and they're obviously the same family of animals. They're both camelids. I'm not sure if you could use a camel, but probably too big. But so, the other reason why you wouldn't want to use an alpaca as a guard animal is that they're small. Let me show you. So, I mean, I'm six foot four inches. These guys are like four and a half feet tall. And the most that they weigh, our guys anyway, is probably around 150 pounds. So, I saw in, in, a, in a llama alpaca Facebook group yesterday, there was somebody asking about getting an alpaca for a guardian animal. And one person said, sure, as long as your biggest predator isn't more than 12 to 15 pounds, it should be fine. But I mean, who only has a predator that's 12 to 15 pounds? I can't think of anybody, but even still, just the fact of an alpaca being by itself. So if you really, you know, if you have sheep or if you have goats and you feel like you need something a little bit bigger to keep them safe, you could try getting a herd of alpacas the, usually what they say is you get three because if you only get two and something bad happens to one of them 
you're in an emergency situation and you only have one alpaca. If you have three alpacas and something bad happens to one of them, you still have two. And so that herd mentality is still there. They still have the chance to take turns, watching guard, all that kind of stuff. So you always wanna have much more than one. And then also, like I just said, they're small. The most they are is 150 pounds and they're really not equipped to deal with predators. You know, llamas can weigh like four, 500 pounds and be like seven feet tall. <clears throat> I might be making that seven feet tall thing up, but they're big. Alpacas are not big. And so it's like, these guys are not gonna defend against any serious predator. You know, not we're not talking like bears, but I mean, household dogs are a problem for alpacas. You know, when we first got our alpacas uh, in our last town that we were in, uh, we had a, a three rail wooden fence. And we had so many people come and say, you need to put wire on that bottom of the fence, otherwise people's dogs are gonna come in and they're gonna go crazy and they're gonna get in there and they're gonna hurt the alpacas. Now obviously nothing bad happened. And now we have the wire fence, but we will be putting up a wooden fence eventually. But dogs are a problem for alpacas. Because again, you know, they're just, they're just not guardian animals. And I think it's probably, I'm not exactly sure why people want to use alpacas for guardian animals. And it's, it's almost like, man, this, our hay feeder is uh, on a serious lean. We're gonna get this fixed soon. But I mean, look at these fluffy little guys. They're nothing. <laughs> uh, they're little Q-tip stuffed animals. They uh, wouldn't hurt a fly, except when they fight each other. And then it's, you know, uh, pandemonium, alpacamonium. But anyway, llamas are about twice the size of alpacas. They are the ones that are made to be pack animals. So like if you ever go on the mountains in the Andes Mountains in Peru, the Sherpas, I'm not sure if I'm using that term correctly, but the guides on that mountain will use llamas as pack animals because they weigh like 400 pounds. They're muscly and they're built for that. Alpacas are like the soft cousin to the llama. And you know, everybody always asks the same thing, you know, do they spit? You know, oh, they spit at you a lot, huh? Like we were at a craft show this past weekend and I had our alpaca hats. First of all, everybody always calls them llamas, which is fine, people don't know. Um, but it's like, oh, llamas, do they spit at you a lot? And it's like, you know, A, these are alpacas, and B, usually when people get spit on by alpacas is because they're getting in the middle of an argument between two alpacas. Because usually they just spit at each other, not at people. There's one exception to that, which is berserk male syndrome, um, in which case a male alpaca will see human beings as other alpacas and will treat them as such, which is a very dangerous situation to be in. Uh, that can also happen to llamas, uh, but with llamas it's much more dangerous because they're much bigger and more aggressive. So, I mean, you look at these little fluff balls behind me, and with the exception of Kevin's, you know, Darth Maul face, the, uh, who, who, who are they scaring? Who are they gonna scare? Nobody. You know, and so if a real predator ever came in here, it would be a problem. But that's why one of the things that we don't necessarily need to worry about is because we have six boys down here, it would take an awful lot for something bad to happen. So I guess, I guess there is a caveat to this where maybe you could use alpacas as guard animals as long as you have enough for them to be safe. For example, with the ladies that we have up there, we have 24, 22, I think we have 22 adult alpacas. And so if each one of them weighs just 100 pounds, that is a literal ton of alpacas up there. And we know some of them, looking at you, Brownie, and Belinda, weigh a lot more than 100 pounds. Love you. But so anyway, so like when you have enough of them, they can provide, you know, uh, safety for themselves, but you would never want to take a single alpaca and put them in as a guardian animal. Cause they're just not. Mm. 
It's Felix. This is Felix. This is Felix. He was our firstborn on this farm. We brought home the first five alpacas we got from Vermont. Two days later, he was born laying in the, uh, the floor of our barn. We had no idea what to do. That was wild. Anyway. I didn't mean to scare you guys away. So the other thing to think about is nutrition because what some people do is they keep goats with alpacas, which is not recommended. The reason for that being goats need a lot more copper in their diet, a level of copper that could be fatal to alpacas. The other thing about goats is that they have a much higher parasite load ability than alpacas do. And what that means is goats can live with a higher amount of parasites than alpacas can. And goats and alpacas are close enough that those parasites can transfer back and forth. So if you have a goat who is presenting as perfectly healthy but has a load of parasites, that can easily transfer over to the alpacas and the alpacas won't be able to handle that load and it could kill them, which is no good. And now you're, you're going to hear a lot of people on both sides of this argument say, I keep my alpacas with my goats and it's just fine. Nothing bad has ever happened. And that's great. That's good for you. But something could happen. It has the potential to be very, very bad. And we've seen several cases where people have had alpacas and potentially not a great scenario and terrible things have happened. So it's like, just because it's working for you doesn't mean it's the right thing to do. The right thing to do is to keep alpacas with alpacas or llamas, keep boys separate from girls and don't use alpacas as guardian animals. Right guys? But more than the fact that they're just kind of fluffy love balls, and they're not really love balls, what's a love ball anyway? You know, the simple fact that you cannot get a single alpaca and use it as a guardian animal. And that's, I've, we've seen that a lot in these Facebook groups. People either asking about it or people saying they're looking for a single alpaca to use as a guardian animal. And thankfully, there's a lot of people out there who know that that's not the right thing to do. And there's plenty of people who comment and say, you don't want to do that, please don't do that, blah, blah, blah. But then there are also people who say what I just said, you know, oh, we've had an alpaca in with our goats for years and it's been great. And it's, you know, <clears throat> imagine you're a herd animal, right? And you have instincts where, okay, so I'm gonna keep watch, you know, for two hours a day, every day. And then the rest of my herd is gonna take care of the rest of the day keeping watch so I can use the bathroom, so I can eat in peace, so I can drink water without having to look over my shoulder. But then you take that single solitary alpaca and you put him in a situation where he has to be on guard all the time. That alpaca is gonna be stressed, it's gonna be sad, and it's just, it's just not gonna go well. It's not the right thing to do for the animal. You know, aside from it not being the right kind of guardian animal, The right kind of livestock guardian animal is either a llama, if you have, you know, other camelids, or you can get a herd of llamas. A friend of ours was grazing some sheep at another friend's farm, and for protection, she brought three llamas with her. So she had like, I don't know, it was like 50 sheep, and then three, uh, three llamas. Because llamas are big and scary and mean, you know? <laughs> so, like an alpaca with brass knuckles. Anyway, long and the short of it is, alpacas are not guardian animals. Don't use them as guardian animals. If you want to get alpacas, get at least three of them. Make sure they have access to fresh uh, second cut hay, water, some alpaca feed. Get them shorn once a year, clip the toenails, and you're good. I've always said that alpacas are actually really low maintenance in terms of livestock. They're a lot of fun. They're very cute. And I would encourage anybody to get alpacas. Just don't use them as livestock guardian animals. All right. Thank you guys for watching this video. I really appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you next time. If you have any questions about alpacas, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. And I'll try to answer any of them that I can. 
Um, if you have any other questions that cannot be answered in a comment, because also YouTube doesn't always share the comments, you can feel free to email us, oldreadingfarm at gmail.com, or you can contact us via our website, oldreadingfarm.com, although I think our website is currently in the process of being transferred from WordPress to Squarespace, so it might come up with a blank page for now, but just give us a day and it'll show up. Thanks, guys. See you next time.